In respect to the third count, he faces the charge of obtaining money by false pretense, contrary to section 313 of the Penal Code, and it's particularized that on diverse dates between 20th of April 2011 and 29th of April 2013 at Hallingham area, in a kill money within Nairobi County, jointly with others not before court, with intent to defraud, obtained from Danson Mungatana a sum of Kenya shillings, of, sorry, a sum of US dollars, sorry, US dollars 1 million, which is approximated to Kenya shillings 76 million, by falsely pretending that you're in a position to invest for him in oil industry, a fact you knew to be false. The accused person denied the charges and the matter proceeded to full trial, with the prosecution calling a total of seven witnesses in a bid to prove its case. From the outset, I wish to point out that this matter has, has had several false starts. From the record, it is attest, it, it attests to that fact. At some point, the accused person had opted to, for an out-of-court settlement, intimating that he was ready to compensate the complainants. That did not materialize. The matter was subsequently <coughs> reallocated to me on the 8th day of June, 2023. I go to the body of uh, the prosecution evidence, the prosecution evidence can be gleaned from the evidence of PW1, Honorable Dunstan Mugatana, who, apart from being a senator of Tana River, is also an advocate of the High Court. He emotionally and excru excruciatingly, but painstakingly, took the court through his testimony. He stated that on the 20 28th day of September 2018, while watching news, Citizen News, with his family, he saw the image of the accused person and his son after they had been arrested for allegation of being involved in fraudulent activities. The police were calling for anyone who had any complaint against the accused person to come forth. It was his testimony that the accused person was introduced to him by one Muhammad. He had met Muhammad at Lyco Regency in Nairobi, where Muhammad approached him and informed him that he works somebody who is the accused person who had several business opportunities where he can invest in being a politician. Upon inquiring on the type of business from Muhammad, Muhammad informed him that they were in the business of oil. It was his testimony that the following day uh, he met Muhammad and they proceeded to an apartment in Hallingham where he found the accused person. He found the accused person. The accused person introduced himself as Abdullah Tamba. The accused person informed him that he's a Chadian and a very wealthy man in the oil, oil business. He was promised that once he invests, he was assured of 100% return on his investment in six months. He asked for time to consider, to consider that option. He further stated that opportunity. He further stated that Muhammad went to his office the following day and convinced him. And he found Muhammad to be a very truthful person. He later agreed to invest Kenya shillings 100,000. He went to the same apartment and found the accused person. And the accused person demanded the amount in US dollars, which he converted and handed it, it to him. After that, he, could, he did not meet Mohammed again. And true to the accused person, word, after six months, he received double the amount, a sum of Kenya shillings 1 million. He was very elated. After two weeks, the accused person approached him directly and notified him of another business opportunity. This time round, he testified that he invested Kenya shillings 5 million, which he sourced from friends, colleagues, and relatives, with the assurance that he'll earn double the amount in six months. He told the court that he took the money to the accused person, and similarly true to his word after six months, the accused person gave him Kenya shillings 10 million. He pointed out that the accused person had inspired him as he lived a very lavish life with, with a, an apartment richly furnished, furnished. He had several servants and motor vehicles. He never for a sing, single, sing, single second doubted the accused person. He testified that after, after a few months, the accused person called him again, in, in informing him of another business opportunity. However, this time, the accused person informed him that he has to invest quote-unquote big. He asked him to bring one million US dollars, which at the time was exchanging at a, at a, Kenya, at a rate of Kenya shilling seventy six per dollar. He frantically started looking for the money by selling some of his properties, shares. He took a loan 
And the mammoth of it all, he mortgaged his seven bedroom house in Karen, which according to the witness was valued at Kenya shilling 70 million. He further contended that wherever he could get any cash, he would convert it in US dollars and then take it to the accused person. He stated that he could be accompanied by his bodyguard who had even warned him against that venture. The accused person promised to double the amount and give him US dollars 2 million. The accused person after six months could not be traced and until when he saw him during the 9 p.m. news in the television, in citizen television. He woefully stated that he lost everything, including his wife who passed on. <coughs> in respect to the third count of the offense of obtaining money by false pretense, contra section 313 of the penal code, I find that the prosecution has failed to discharge its burden of proving the case, uh, the charges that the accused person obtained uh, money from Honorable Danson Gatana, and the reasons basically is that uh, it was the accused person word against the complainant, Honorable Danson Gatana. Honorable Danson Gatana intimated that he could be escorted to the accused person's house without with his bodyguard. His bodyguard was not called as a witness, so I find with empathy. Uh, that the prosecution did never discharge that burden. So I'll acquit him on that count, on the third count of obtaining money by false presidents.